two ready to be played now so that's gonna be good last of us start part two right now cyberpunk 2077 near the end of the year and in between that goes to Tsushima I'm excited <laughs> three good games or three potentially amazing games to uh, play this year I'm kind of hoping that would be the case <sighs> cross my fingers <laughs> Crossing my fingers, man. Yeah, but we've we've pretty much got all our restrictions. Uh, alerts are paused. They're pretty much not gonna pop up. So if anyone follows the channel or anything like that, it you know that has the stupid spoilers in their names. That you're you're yeah you're wasting your time. But thanks for the follow. This <laughs> doesn't really give anything. Text to speech off. Enables narration of on-screen text. Left and right directional buttons. Change. That's interesting, man. They have a text-to-speech option? <laughs> I don't know how... I don't, nah, we'll probably keep that off. We'll, we'll have uh, text language and speech language. That's good. I don't think there's anything really to do there. Okay, that's usually pretty good. I mean, we could we could kind of see what the text to speech thing. Text to speech on text con text to speech continue speech language. No, it does English. it with the menu. <laughs> Change the language of spoken dialogue. It does it with the menu Left too. Right text text to speech. Now we have to turn that off because it's gonna bug the shit out of us. <laughs> Yeah, it does it with everything. I thought I would do it with the notes so we can be lazy, <laughs> but never mind. <laughs> now, at, at least we tested it out before we uh, started the game. <laughs> ah, cool. Okay. So HDR is probably for yeah high, dyna high dynamic range and stuff like that. I think that's turned off. I think you might have to... <laughs> this television does not support HDR. It's a fucking monitor. <laughs> I play on a monitor and I get the audio through my headphones. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, that is a very good question. I mean, text to speech is a an, an accessibility thing, and I forgot what it's actually used for for video games. Uh, Maybe if people have severe dyslexia or something like that, I have no clue. Uh, there's probably conditions out there that they were told to like consider. So, uh, kind of looks everything kind of looks good. I don't know if I really need to change anything. I don't know what conditions that would be for. Subtitles. Wow, what is all this access accessibility? Holy shit, what? Oh, look how big the large is. <laughs> Bam, right in your fucking face. <laughs> we'll keep it on medium since this is, you know, we're streaming on Twitch. Don't want it small or else it's like, I can't read it. I'm blind. <laughs> Gotta put on my glasses. Uh, background. Oh, for now that. Uh, we can keep background off. I'm sure it. I think it has an out a black outlining. If it doesn't have a black outlining, we'll put a background to it. Name on name color. Oh, cool. We can color code it. I like that. I like the color coding. Uh, direction. Oh, so it can tell you what direction they're coming. Uh, they're talking from. <laughs> Emerald up in here. Emerald Lagasse. <laughs> oh, I could even change the color too. Uh, we'll keep it. I will keep it white. Why don't they have black, huh? What is this? <laughs> Make sure it saved it. All right, audio. Auto television. Wait, auto television. Television, home theater, studio, stereo. Keep it television because I noticed when I put it on like studio reference or something like that, it like completely like. 
just keep it on audio uh, auto uh center channel we'll just yeah I'll keep that too dynamic range narrow maximum just narrow it for now mono audio you now they have a lot of customization in just this I guess this is for you not to go through the the options before, or like, you know, for those who keep forgetting about checking the options before starting their game. Apply vision accessibility preset. Yeah, oh, vision accessibility. So they, oh, yeah, vision accessibility, it turns on text-to-speech, high contrast display, HD scale large. So I guess people that really have bad eyesight that's for them and like they're not blind but they have a really like they have like you know cal calluses on like one eye or something like that or not calluses uh yeah you know what i mean uh doo -doo -doo -doo. wait turns on a ledge guard so they don't fall off like ledges oh so they actually have gameplay implements for those who have accessibility problems, like actual like physical problems. That's actually really cool. Uh, we don't need that though, because we don't have a vision problem even though I'm like legally blind. I do have contacts for that, <laughs> so I don't need that. <laughs> I am legally blind though. Um, apply hearing accessibility, awareness indicators, uh, pickup notifications, Dodge prompts, frequent dodge prompts, uh, subtitles and stories, a combat subtitles for names and stuff like that, guitar vibration cues. Ooh, that's interesting. Uh, let's see, and apply motor accessibility presets, which has lock on, lock on aim, auto targeting, uh, auto weapon swap, auto pickup, camera assist. Yeah, for people that have very, you know, might not have fingers or hands, this is actually perfect for them. Yeah, good job, Naughty Dog, for actually having stuff like this in their game. It, it's, it's like, it's an option. <laughs> Thank you for having it as an option for the people that want to play this game, but might not physically be inclined to do so. So thank you. That is, that's a, you know, that's a huge plus right off the back. I haven't played the damn game yet. <laughs> I love it when developers add shit ton of accessibility for their games. It, you know, they're considering those who really want to play their games. They're fans of their series, the company to be able to play their game without hurting their core audience. That's, well, they are their core audience if you really think about it. The core audience are the people that need those accessibilities. Well, fuck yeah. <laughs> Model viewer. I don't know if I should look at this yet. Ooh, pretty. Are those moths? Oh, we can unlock stuff. Ooh, they have points. Uh oh, we right, we'll, won't we'll look, won't we'll look into that real much. We'll we'll check some of this stuff out later. Any more? I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. So interesting. Loading screen. I mean, the main screen compared to the first one different. It's not at a window anymore. It's it's like it's at a dock or shoreline. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they don't have just normal mode anymore. This is moderate, hard, survival. So, do you get to unlock grounded mode at the end of beating one of these, or what? Provides a balanced experience. That's what I like, is a balanced experience. Resources are limited. Uh, for those looking for a great cha or greater challenge, resources are very limited and enemies are more dangerous. And 
All right, got everyone that's trying to be a try hard on uh, Twitch and YouTube right now, playing on survivor mode. Uh, intense, demanding challenge. Resources are extremely scarce, and enemies are deadly. I think that's kind of perfect for a second or hell even a third playthrough. Um, to be honest, though, if I play the game on moderate right now, after beating the game, and if it unlocks grounded difficulty, then go straight to grounded instead of wasting my fucking time. So <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play on moderate, not waste my time as much as the people playing it on survival difficulty. Enjoy the game while still being able to experience it just like they are experiencing it right now. And then play it on grounded difficulty my second playthrough. Because fuck you tryhards. <laughs> I'm I'm calling you out, all you people. <laughs> I think it's best to try and follow what the developers say instead of people trying to strong arm you playing a certain difficulty. So fuck those people. <laughs> um, let's see. Apply pre-order bonuses. I like how I have the option. I don't think I really pre-ordered this game. I guess if I had the game kind of... I guess that would technically be a pre-order. But I read at least two or three reviews without too much spoilers. And uh, was pretty fine getting the game. So applies, bonuses, and unlocks the ammo capacity upgrade and semi-auto pistol a crafting training manual. Uh, will that will that hurt my playthrough? As in making it too easy? I don't know. When it says ammo capacity, and if you really think about it, ammo capacity in Last of Us does it make a huge difference, like clip size and all that. Um, so I guess it really wouldn't hurt. And the same auto pistol, if they're just giving you a pistol, then nah. Oh, I hate re automatic re reorientations of uh, cameras, so I'm turning, I'm keeping that off. Alright, new game. Starting on just moderate. Yes, we're going moderate. <laughs> it's our first time playing this game. Give me a fucking break. <laughs> <laughs> I want to enjoy the story. Like, I'm literally doing this first playthrough story uh, with a moderate challenge. You know, it's not a decent story without a little bit of challenge to you. Then I'll play it on Grounded, just to appease all the tryhards out there. <laughs> I just love to just keep jabbing at them. Keep poking them. Keep poking the line with the stick, Vince. <laughs> keep poking it. See what happens. <laughs> but yeah, as you guys can see, I'm not in black and white for this playthrough. Um, I don't know. I like the black and white stuff, but we'll we'll keep it color coded for uh, this playthrough. <laughs> maybe if we're playing another black and white game, that way we could do that. I mean, maybe I'll do that for Ghost of Tsushima, or maybe make myself transparent or a silhouette. Ooh, silhouette. Or Ghost of Tsushima. <laughs> Thing is, you won't be able to see my expression. I don't know what happened. I was supposed to take her to the Fireflies and walk away. Go halfway across the country with someone. She needed her immunity to mean something. Maybe I was starting to buy into that old cure business. Maybe I just wanted to do right by her. And then we made it. He found the fireflies. Because of her, 
They were actually going to make a cure. you take her. This is our future. Think of all the lives we'll save. Jesus Christ, Joe. What do you do? I saved her. That's a lot. What does Ellie know? I told her they just ran some tests. I told her her immunity meant nothing. And she believed you? I didn't say otherwise. <sighs> we should head back. Damn, that's a lot of dead people. small little recap just for those who didn't play the first game in a while ooh the lighting throw on a gallop there's the this is brother's place So yeah, as we, uh, as we talked about, I was like, oh yeah, I wonder what the main transportation for Last of Us is going to be. Yep, it's a horse. <laughs> At least when it comes to long distances like this. Man, man, we should have got those deer. Imagine how many families it can feed with a deer. <laughs> yeah. Hey, 
Huh. Made a giant wall and everything. Fuck. Made out of wood though. Someone puts just an explosive right next to a wall. Ooh, that was weird. <clears throat> It's okay, I got him. You go on. You sure? Yeah. About what we were talking about earlier. I can't say I'd have done different. Take to the grave if I have to. Hmm. I'll see you later. Jesus, this gave me a heart attack. I tried knocking, but. Hey. Hey. What's up, Joel? Just checking in. Folks are, you know, talking about how impressed they are with you and how well you're helping out. It's good. Yeah. Tommy and I went out riding the other day, and he, uh... <laughs> he told me a joke, and I, I thought about you. It's, um... Oh, shoot, now I forgot it. Uh, something about a clock. How do you... Joel, it's, uh... It's pretty late, and I gotta... get up in a few hours. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. I'm, I'm gonna get out of your hair. I just, um... I, I want to show you something. Just give me one second. What's this? Some folks call this thing here a guitar. Funny. You want to hear something? Okay. Promise me that you won't laugh. I won't laugh. I won't. I'm trusting you. Oh. Try. 
try and sometimes you'll succeed to make this man of me all my stolen missing parts I've no need for anymore as I believe and I believe as I can see suck. <laughs> I'll take what I can get. She's yours. No. No, 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 no. I don't know the first thing I about this. I promise that I teach you how to play. You did. What do you say, tomorrow night, first lesson? Deal. Okay. Okay. Did... Do you remember the joke? What is the downside to eating a clock? It's time consuming. That's so dumb. <laughs> yeah. Good night, kiddo. Make her 18 years old now. Oh, fuck. Hey. Morning. Sorry, I totally overslept. Just give me a minute and I'll get dressed. I heard you had quite a night after I left. I. She kissed me. It was just Dina being Dina. She didn't mean anything by it. I was talking about your fight with Seth. Wait. You kiss Dina? Oh. Awkward. I thought this was... We're broken up one week and you make a move on my girl? No. <sighs> she was probably just trying to make you jealous. I didn't... I would never... <sighs> Fuck, this is awkward. I'm messing with you, man. I don't care. Get dressed. <sighs> You're the worst. <laughs> It's kind of fucked up you did that. It's <laughs> been an asshole. <laughs> All right. Mm, smells fine. Are you sure you smell fine? We should probably take... Oh, you do have a bath. Hmm. 